Hi guys, happy Sunday. Thank you for coming back to my channel this week. I'm Saikira and I'm here with MP Now and I come on every Sunday to um, do a video for you guys um, regarding all things new graduate nurse practitioners. So this week I'm going to be going over some things regarding family nurse practitioners starting out. Um, when, because when you first start out and you go out there to do, get your first job, a lot of times um, people don't really know how to navigate that process too easily. So um, so this week I'm going to be talking about starting out as a new graduate nurse practitioner. Um, one of the really big major things is salary. You're going to want to make sure that, you know, you kind of get an idea of what the market looks like for that position that you're going for as far as salary um, pertaining to the geographic area, your specialty, the type of job it is, um, and what's expected of the job, how time consuming is it. So you're going to want to have an idea of what the market value is or what, what's the going rate for that position in your um, area. But one of the big things that I always like to tell nurse practitioners is don't give a number. The number should solely come from the um, your employer because they kind of whoever gives a number kind of gives like, you know, um, has the leverage in a, in a way. So you kind of want to say, you know, you know, if, if this is your first job, you could say, I'm not sure. I kind of got to I got to kind of talk to a few other people. Um, and if you aren't a brand new nurse or you, you're like you're a MP and you're like more than this is like second or third job. Maybe you'll say something like, you know, um, the, that job was different than this job so I kind of can't compare so I kind of really need to know what this job entails and speak to a few more people before I can make a decision um do you want to give me a number and we can go from there um so just make sure that you bid on yourself don't you don't want to lowball yourself or sell yourself short that's one of the reasons why I say don't give them a number because then they'll come back to you and basically they'll um give you a number and you can decide from there you can go up or down um, also when you're starting out, don't be afraid to, um, apply to whatever job you feel that you truly want. I know a lot of new graduate nurse practitioners maybe want to go into something like aesthetics, um, or specializing in urology. There's nothing at all wrong with specializing early on in your career. You don't have to do primary care for a whole year before you are deemed, um, a competent nurse practitioner. There is a lot to be learned in every specialty and everything that you do. So those are just a few things that I really just felt like, um, I've been seeing a lot of people dealing with or struggling with as far as, um, when they first start off out as nurse practitioners. And, you know, I'm going to do another video soon too about the transitioning from being an RN to an MP because I found that that was a big, um, thing to navigate as well. So I'm going to do another video regarding that. But um, this video, I just wanted to come on and give a few things that I felt that I, a lot of the community, especially the new grad community, was talking about having trouble doing. Um, so that's the end of this video. It's a short video this week. Um, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I'll come on every Sunday to do a video and I'll be seeing you guys on my socials so you can like me on Facebook. You can also um, follow me on Instagram. And my website is mpnowllc.com. You can also find me on there. I also have a mentoring panel that is open currently. So if you need or a new grad nurse practitioner or you're in your first year of being an MP, I do have a panel open that I do mentor my um, nurse practitioners on. So thank you for returning with me. Have a good one.